Hey, you feel that funky rhythm? You feel that drum beat of the Amazons calling your name? Well, it's time to play Gorillas, designed by QBasic and IBM in 1991. So we're going to put Donkey Kong here against Donkey Kong Jr. for an all-out family feud and a rumble in the jungle. You can set it for up to 10 rounds and even change the gravity. Now, how Gorillas is played is that you choose the angle and the velocity of your projectiles. Now, what is the projectile you're asking yourself? Well, what do you think Gorillas are going to be throwing? Now, it's not what you might think, because that's monkey, so get your mind out of the gutter. These gorillas are throwing bananas, but not just any bananas, explosive bananas. So you have to choose the velocity and the angle in order to make your banana fly across the different depths and lengths of the city skyline in order to blow up your opponent. Gorillas was uh, originally developed by IBM in 1991 and came packaged with MS-DOS 5. So this was a pack-in game with many others that came pre-installed on your computer. So if you got a uh, IBM in the 1990s, you pretty much got this game whether you wanted it or not. There's a couple neat Easter eggs in the game that are really fun. Like if you throw your banana at the right angle, you can actually throw it into the face of the sun. Hey, you want to fight or something? Man, my bad. Yeah, that's what I thought you're bad. Damn, son, you got schooled by the sun. So, Gorillas is a really interesting game and really unique for its time in the QBasic era when this was pretty much all you could expect out of a PC, aside from, you know, Advanced Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, eventually, even though it is really heavily math-based, ba um, just a lot of trial and error will eventually get you scoring some points against your opponent, and it's a really fun old-school retro game. I remember this game from my high school days, so if you like old MS-DOS games or disc-based games, I recommend checking out Gorillas. <laughs> Hey guys, if you like the video that you just watched, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you do the Facebook or Twitter thing, follow me at hashtag KingOfRetro. See you next time!